Okay, so continue tayo dito sa geometric progression. So this time is mag-solve tayo ng problem related to geometric progression. So provided meron tayo dito, yung ball daw is drop from a height of 60 meter. So pag i-draw natin yan, so meron daw tayo dito yung ball. Then it is drop from a height of 60 meter. Ayan sya, ito yung ground. Then... On each rebound, it rises two-third of the height from which it last fell. So, magta-drop yan. And then, mag-rise daw yan siya. Okay. Nang two-third nung last fell niya, which is 60. So, we have uh, 40. 40. And then, uh, normal, mag-fold din yan siya ng same distance niya na. Next is mag-rise yan. Yeah. Then mag-fold ulit yan. Ha? So yung i-rise niya is also 2 third nung last felt niya which is 40. Then dito rin is 40. And this is equal to 26.67 and this is 26.67. Then ulit pa rin. Mag-rise yan. At two-third ng 26.67 therefore this is 17.78 then mag-fall ulit yan by two-third ng last fold niya 26.67 and that is 17.78 okay so ito yung ngayon so ano daw yung distance traveled by the ball after the third rebound so so, since uh, yung problem is referring to third rebound, so bali, ano to? So, ito yung third rebound, second rebound, and the first rebound. And then, we have first, okay? So, ito yung, yung simula, okay? Then, mag first rebound, second rebound, third rebound. So, yung tanong niya is ano daw yung distance na daw? Yan na. So, pwede yung, pwede diretsyo na, na. Pwede diretsyo na. So, meron tayong sum. That is 60 plus 40. Yan dito. Next is plus 40. Next is we have 26.67 plus 26.67. Then plus 17.78. And plus 17.78. So, yung magiging sagot nyan is also uh, 60 plus 40 plus 40 plus 26.67 plus 26.67. Plus 17.78. Plus 17.78 And therefore that is 228.9 228.9 meters So ito na yung Sabot na no? So pwede ganyan na no? Pwede rin yung uh, Gamit yung formula for the geometric progression no? Pwede rin yan So let's say yung first term natin is Itong uh, 40 tsaka 40, no? Considering yung first rebound. So, meron tayong twice ng 40. That is 80. Considering yung first rebound. For the second term, that is yung sa second rebound. So, twice lang, no? 26.67. Therefore, this is uh, ilan to? That is 53.34. This is corresponding to to the second rebound and for the third so we have uh, dalawang tag 17.78 so dalawang 17.78 so therefore this is equal to 35.56 and this is now the third rebound okay so 
Ayan, no? Pwede mo rin makuha yung sum by adding 60 plus yung A1 plus A2 plus A3. So, you, you will have also 228 meter. Or, pwede natin gamitin yung sum na formula. We have the first term. 1 minus R, raise of R of N, 1 minus R. Pwede rin yan, no? So, so, sum yan nung mga from first to third rebound. So, ibig sabihin, yung total distance to travel is we have 60 plus yung sum ng 1 to 3 rebound. Okay? So, we have now 60. Yung first is we have 80. We have 80. Then, 1 minus yung common ratio natin is we have first, second term divided by the first term. So, ilan yung 53.34 divided by 80? So, 53.34 divided by 80. Therefore, that is 0.667. So, yan yung ilagay natin dito. 0.667. Then, meron tayong tatlong rebound. So, raised to power of 3. All over 1 minus 0 0.667. So, therefore, yung sum nito ngayon is also equal to. Add ko lang. So, I have 60 plus 80. Times 1 minus ng 0 0.667. The raised power of 3. 1 minus 0 0.667. So, we have 228.95 meter. So, yan na yung sagot. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung uh, application ng mga geometric progression. Kasi, yung, kasi pag ano din to eh. Pag i-divide mo din yung 35.56 all over 53.34. Same lang din yung value na makuha niya. So, kaya geometric progression yan. Kung kukunin mo yung common difference nila, so, uh, kung kukunin mo yung 53.34 minus 80 and 35.56 minus 53.34, hindi yan mag ng the same answer. Kaya wala siyang common difference. So, yung meron lang talaga siya is common ratios. Kaya, under siya sa geometric progression. Okay? So, example tayo dito, meron tayong uh, another example. Colonial bacteria is increasing at the rate of 40% per hour. If there were originally 25,000 bacteria in the colony, how many will there be at the end of 5 hours? Okay, so at the end of 1 hour, so that would be our first term. 25,000, okay? So, at the end of 2 hours, so that would be our, kasi originally, meron siyang 25,000. So, nag-start siya from, say, 1 up to 25, no? So, bali, ang dami nung, ang dami nung, yung growth nung bacteria in just 1 hour is, nakaana siya ng 25,000. Kaya, nagiging original siya for 1 hour na 25,000 bacteria. So, at the end of second hour, so, doon na, mag-increase na siya per hour ng 40%, or that is 1.4 ng first term. So, therefore, yung value nito is 35,000. And then, at the end of 3 hours, so, bali yan yung E3. So, 1.4 ka ngayon nung second term and that is just equal to 49,000 at the end of kubitin ko muna so we have 25,000 equals then 1.4 nung answer 35 equal 49 so at the end of 4 hours meron tayong A4 it's just 1.4 nung A3. And hit ko lang yung equal dito. So, we have 6, 8, 600 bacteria. And at the end of 
5 hours which is ito yung tinatanong okay so 1.4 ka lang nung A4 so therefore that is 96040 okay uh, another so solution is using yung formula kasi meron na tayong common ratio di ba? yung common ratio may kita mo na 1.4 or say 35,000 all over 25,000 that is also 1.4 49,000 all over 35,000 that is also 1.4 okay so yung common ratio nila is we have 1.4 so yung tinatanong niya is ano yung value ng EN so at the end of 5 hours so we have R 5 minus 1 So, yung fifth, fifth, at the end of 5 hours, or yun yung fifth term, so meron tayong 25,000 times yung common ratio na 1.4, 5 minus 1. And that is also equal to 96,040 bacterias. So, yun lang guys, for the application of geometric progression. So, continue na lang tayo sa next pa na mga topics. Thank you.